The hospital at the centre of a baby death scandal is under mounting pressure to overhaul the way it operates. It's now emerged a toddler nearly died because staff there failed to diagnose a potentially deadly cancer. A hospital bungle almost cost little Kane his life. Staff failing to pick up a deadly tumour eating away at his brain. It's not just a normal job that they're going into every day. They are holding people's lives in their hands. It happened at the same hospital, Bankstown, where a gas mix-up killed a little boy and left another seriously hurt. Danielle took her two-year-old to the emergency department in February 2013. He was vomiting, falling over and screaming, but she was sent away. Over the next six weeks, she took him to the hospital on eight occasions. Every single time, she was turned away. Then Kane was so sick, Danielle simply refused to leave. And the paediatrician looked at him, ordered a CT scan to be done straight away. We were rushed to Sydney Children's Hospital intensive care that night for emergency surgery the following day. It was brain cancer. Kane had a rare brain tumour that needed 18 months of treatment. The surgeon told Danielle if she'd listened to staff, her boy would be dead. I was told I just would have woken up one morning and he would have passed away in his sleep. Sorry. It's the latest in a string of bungles exposed at the facility. Affected families now banding together, calling for the health minister to be sacked and an urgent inquiry into hospital practices. Renee Henry, Nine News.